Hello Who Will Read Us. So today I'm going to read you, You Can't Beat a Cheetah. Jeremy was a happy little monkey. From the minute he jumped out of bed, every day was one big game. Brushing his teeth, taking a shower and eating his breakfast, everything was brilliant fun. Jeremy hopped, flipped, laughed and skipped all through the day. Today, Jeremy was very excited. It was the school fun day. There would be stalls and races and games and competitions all day long. Come on, Mum, we'll be late. Jeremy had never won a prize before. He wanted to show he was the best at something. Jeremy wanted to win. I can't wait, he said to his mum as they drove to school. I'm going to have a go at everything. Just do your best, dear. The first event of the day was the egg and spoon race. Jeremy lined up at the start with all of his friends. Oh, good, thought Jeremy. Charlie Cheetah's not in this race. I'm sure I can win now. On your marks, shouted the teacher. Get set. Go! Annie Antelope bolted away as fast, so fast her egg flew off her spoon. Ronnie the Rhino got cross-eyed from watching his egg and ended up going round and round in circles. Jeremy was in the lead, but Jilly Giraffe just beat him by a long neck. Well done, Jeremy, puffed Tommy Tortoise, trailing in last. You came second. I'll win the next one, said Jeremy. Next came the long jump. Ronnie charged down the track, grunting and snorting, but he forgot to jump. Tommy just reached the sandpit. Brilliant, he cried. That was my best jump ever. Jeremy took a big run up and leapt as far as he could. I'm sure to win with that jump. But Katie the kangaroo didn't even need a run up. She just hopped right over the sandpit. I won. Remember, said the teacher, it's not the winning, but the taking part that counts. I haven't won anything yet, said Jeremy to his mum as they ate their lunch. Me neither, smiled Tommy. Just do your best, said Jeremy's mum. But things didn't go quite as Jeremy had hoped. Ronnie was unbeatable at the tug of war. Ellen the, Ellen the elephant was fantastic at sh shot the coconut shy. And even Jeremy's mum managed to win the mum's race. Everyone was a winner except Jeremy. Choose a partner, called out the teacher. The three-legged race is next. Jeremy looked at Charlie, the fastest runner in school. But who would choose his best friend, Tommy? the world's slowest runner. On your marks, shouted the teacher. Get set. Go. Charlie and Annie roared into the lead, leaving everyone spluttering in a cloud of dust. We won, we won, they shouted. Jeremy and Tommy plodded across the line last. That was brilliant, cheered Tommy, but Jeremy was very disappointed. There was one race left, the running race. Come on, called Tommy. I don't want to, said Jeremy. Just do your best, said his mum. You can't beat a cheetah, said Jeremy. On your marks, get set, go. Ronnie charged forward like a bulldozer. Annie bounced across Tommy's lane. Charlie took off like a rocket. Jeremy zoomed off at top speed, but he couldn't run as fast as Charlie. Then something unbelievable happened. Charlie had a piece of string from the three-legged race wrapped around his ankle. He got tangled, tripped and fell. Jeremy was in the lead. Charlie jumped up and ran after him, but it was neck and neck. But Jeremy reached the tape first. He'd won. I've never come second before said Charlie. I only won because you tripped, said Jeremy. You still won, said Charlie. Remember, said the teacher, 
It's not the winning, but the taking part that counts. You're right, said Jeremy, grinning. But I still beat a cheetah.